Hi, welcome back to another one of my videos. And in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about a, a bag company, a specifically Crumpler. Crumpler bags. Uh, Crumpler bags has been a, a brand that I has supported for a long time now. But uh, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about it because um, <clears throat> you know the rise and decline of the brand itself. It's uh, it's really of something of a concern for me and I hope that I would be able to share with you guys my uh, thoughts about what it is and uh, maybe give you a little insight about their products and if you have a chance to pick up one of their older products or the new products you know at least um, you know this video is gonna help you out in a way or something you know so let me know in the comments what you think of my uh, about this video and I, in case you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And I hope everyone is just uh, doing okay uh, in this like coronavirus period. Even though, you know, the situation has kind of improved a little bit. But now here in Tokyo, the numbers are still rising. But I'm not in Tokyo, so but I'm still, you know, at the same time a little bit uh, skeptical about uh, the com the complete um, eradication of the coronavirus. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. So yeah, please uh, subscribe to my video. <laughs> If you're not okay, let's just get out of the way. Okay, Crumpler Brands, uh, Crumpler Bags, it's a brand that was started uh, in uh, Melbourne, Australia, and sometime in 1995, where they made a really amazing um, bike style messenger bags, or well, messenger bags for um, like bikers, not like a motorbike, but uh, you know, like a bicycle. And uh, this, you know, messenger bags for bikers, um, this cyclists, these bikers who ride zip around town. Uh, who deliver your packages, your mail, you know, uh, there, there was a Japanese movie about it, you know, and they're really fast and they're really efficient and their bags, you know, the equipment they use has to be functional and yet allows easy access to whatever, you know, the content and uh, they definitely have to be durable because these guys are out there 24 seven, you know, racing <clears throat> to um, one office to another, one place to another to deliver the, um, you know, package in the shortest time. So, um, Crumpler became famous with their uh, CD3, the original messenger bag. And then uh, from then on, they kind of branched onto uh, other products like backpacks and pouches and straps and camera bags and laptop bags and beanies, uh, bean bags, you know, not beanies. <laughs> and yeah, that's how, you know, the company grew and, um, um, okay, never mind. Okay. I, I was, yeah, my phone kind of could just freeze and I thought it wasn't recording. And uh, so yeah, that's how the brand kind of gained so much recognition back then in the past. And um, they are, um, messenger bags are probably one of the most uh, famous and iconic messenger bags uh, in the early 2000s to the mid 2000s. <clears throat> and um, back then, uh, their company had uh, probably a very strong following in, in Australia. And then when it came to Singapore, um, it's just, um, you know, it's just, exploded everyone wanted one of their bags especially people in the creative field people college students you know i know every college student is just carrying one of their bags from the biggest biggest one to the medium one to the small ones you know they put the books you know, they put the gym equipment you know the all sorts of things people put in their bags but uh everywhere you go uh, you can see people carrying their bags because they are so good and they are so recognizable and they are so amazing you know and durable as well so back then, what did Crumpler actually stand for? As far as I'm con on concerned, Crumpler was this really mysterious bag when it came in. Um, you can see a lot of people carrying their bags, but most of the bags has only this round little logo with the Crumpler wiggly man on it. And there's no words or nothing. If you know the brand, you know the brand. If you don't know the brand, you will be tempted to find out what this brand is. You know, why is everyone carrying their bags? You know, like from um, blue to green to red to yellow to ones with stripes, you know, like so colorful and so vibrant and so much joy and happiness in their product. You know, and the names are just so unique, you know, like um, you never know <laughs> what is the actual meaning behind the name, but you know, the names of their products is just always so unique. And when you finally find uh, one of these crumpler stores in the mall, uh, you'll be greeted with this huge giant like crumpler man at you know at the entrance, and usually in bright red. And then when you go into the shop, this whole assortment of colorful uh, products just uh, calling out for your attention. And then some of the crumpler stores even have like a crumpler, a bean bag for you to just um, you know sit around and hang around and um, talk to the stuff and whatnot. <laughs> so back then, yeah, crumpler was. Um, was a fun product, was a durable product. Uh, they had subtle colors like black and 
gray or gunmetal or something, you know. But uh, most of the products are colorful and uh, fun and functional, and that's what the brand actually stands for. Uh, but along the way, uh, the company, I don't know, the brand itself, the logo was like slowly changing, you know, it's like evolving uh, from the little, uh, like a simple crumpler logo, man, uh, just black and uh, a white a outline and a crumpler man is in white and then to a crumpler man with the word crumpler and album 1995 to the crumpler man with the crumpler word spell out of the side and to just completely spell out the word crumpler without the crumpler man <clears throat> and in 2018 they completely rebranded themselves into a totally new brand a different brand you know like they, they still call themselves crumpler but the font changed and uh, Wiggly Man is just totally gone. And, um, you know, based on what I read on the internet, uh, the Wiggly Man got a haircut and, you know, lose his boat shoes and become, you know, more like a working class man. But um, you look at Crumper products these days, when you look at their website, when you look at information on, on the internet, uh, there's not a lot of uh, information about their products these days, except, you know, like on the internet. Um, the brand, it's now it's just boring. You know, it's like every other brand um, selling bags there's no um, it just lost everything that it stand for when it started out in the, fun, in the past functional a fun and colorful and joyful and happiness you know all this kind of like um, factors that got me and in, really interested in the products it's just gone now with the new rebranding it's just um, just boring you know <laughs> I would not get the products now you know the logo is boring the font is boring um, so that's it, you know, there's not a lot of Instagram posts about um, the products these days as well. But in, back then in the past, um, the products is just so fun. Everyone wants one a piece of them. And um, <clears throat> I do not have the original uh, Crumpler CD3 messenger bags, but I got a, uh, a new, like a version of their um, like um, messenger bags. I got the complete seat, which is a, like a new version of the upgraded version of the CD3 uh, sometime down the road. And I've been using it for a long time. And I don't trash my bags. I use them, but I don't abuse them. I don't drag them across the asphalt on a full load. I don't throw, I don't, you know, smash my bags against, uh, you know, a wall or something. I just carry them, carry my books, uh, carry, you know, my gear, my photography, my photography gear, my clothes, you know, um, in, that that's it you know what not and yeah i was out there in the rain and everything and in the sunshine and everything and i've been using the bag for more than 15 years and it still holds up great you know no rips no tears no stains nothing you know and so much memories with the bags it's just that along you know the the years of the using the bags for such a long time the material has not disintegrated it's just become a lot softer so the bag is just easier to use it wraps around your body and still an amazing messenger bag i'll talk about it. A bit about I'll do a separate video of the bag uh, in a separate video but in th to this video after talking about uh, crumpler bags or crumpler as a brand I decided to just uh, add on uh, to the to, you know uh, to this video that I like their old designs I like uh, you know the brand before it kind of changed after 2018 so I've been searching online here and there for a little bit uh, about a few months now and uh, one of the products that I always wanted to get when it was released back then, I didn't get it for various reasons. But now I somehow happened to found, uh, happened to find it in, here in Japan, uh, and I decided to just picked it up. <laughs> there it is. I picked up a crumpler, a considerable embarrassment. Uh, it's a bag that I always, always wanted. Uh, because the, of the design and um, the functionality of it and the internal organization and um, you know, the new features and uh, it has uh, you know, a, a carrying handle here which is uh, really useful you know but uh, the, the capacity is just a little bit smaller as compared to the previous uh, complete seat that I had it's just one giant uh, bag with not much of a cushion or padding everything you can hold a lot more with that bag but yeah today we're going to talk about this bag yeah um, I really like this old crumpler design. This is not the really the really old design, but it's like an upgraded version of the original crumpler design. It's much bigger. It has crumpler man with the crumpler word and um, a Melbourne nineteen ninety five on it. And um, back then, yeah, I really wanted one of these bags, but I didn't pick it up. And so now I found it in Japan. I bought it off another guy, um, another user who I've never met. 
it was listed as a uh, you know brand new and unused without tax so you know without tax brand new and unused so why not you know so i got lucky and i picked it up for like uh, about 120 110 120 dollars so it's a, that's a steal because this bag retails for close to like um i think more than 200 dollars when it was released but i managed to get it like um you know a uh, brand new uh without tax and uh it smells great <laughs> probably um you know put it in storage or some uh, air freshener or something and uh yeah i'm really happy with this bag <laughs> and i just want to talk a little bit about this bag um okay let's just get the video going you know um yeah basically it's just a messenger style bag um the uh, the crumple logo on it and on outside it has a reflective tape here and two uh buckles plastic buckles and on the back here there's a grab handle that is uh you know nicely padded and uh the straps um the strap has a uh strap padding that is removable and it has a little attachment here for you to you know hang your accessories and whatnot and then uh, there's a little like a uh, adjustment buckle here uh, for you to adjust the length of the strap and uh, on the buckle there's a little like uh, emboss crumpler man and uh, there's a little like a third strap here that is uh you know you can change it to either the left or the right depending on if you're left hand the right hander you know this is uh you know messenger bags like for you to strap across on the left side or right side you know, and then the other strap will go along the other part of your body to secure it and not pre and prevent it from moving your writing and basically that's about it on the outside not not a lot to talk about you know <laughs> and then opening up the back and it's red on the inside you know, that's one of the reasons why i really like crumpler backs in the past because on the outside it looks all subtle and black and everything and then suddenly you have like a fanciful color on the inside <laughs> to velcro um decent sized velcro here to strap that down but there's no way to mute this uh velcros uh in the past i do have a crumpler messenger bag uh, not messenger a uh camera bag and they do have like flaps to cover a uh, the velcro so that you can just use the buckles and not you know give that um irritating or loud velcro uh fastening and unfastening sound but this is a messenger bag so there's nothing and um a zip here a zip zipped pocket here with an uh, internal organization for your pants and uh other accessories there's a little like um strap here with a little uh, clip at the end for your keys and uh basically yeah that's it on the outside and then there's a little side a compartment here that this uh you know the zipper side compartment here with a zip here you can put your stuff inside your phone's uh pretty decent size to, uh, to here about here and then on the inside uh you get three internal pockets one and two and then the middle one right here it's a it's a little velcro on it yep three and then uh on the back here this is actually a laptop pocket held on by two two velcro pieces here and it's uh it's decently padded and it's suspended around halfway uh around this this point here not all the way to the bottom uh padded both on the inside and the back of the bag here so you know when you put your bag down your laptop doesn't slam into the ground um so that's a very big difference uh, and then from my old uh what is that a uh, complete seat uh, messenger bag i do a comparison video uh sometimes down the road but now today i just want to talk about this video and then there's a little tag here that says the considerable embarrassment and with a star in the back and some um like authenticity hologram seal on it so yeah basically yeah this is a crumpler a considerable embarrassment there's a two versions of this one is the considerable embarrassment and then there is the moderate embarrassment which is slightly smaller but similar in design and i always wanted this black and red setup because it just looks so rad <laughs> and uh there are a different versions of the considerable embarrassment the first one it's a much older design with the logo in the middle <clears throat> that one's pretty boring it doesn't have a drag handler here or carry handler and i do believe this is like the the middle or the second version or third version and then there's a newer version of this where the logo uh, is just a circle and then there's a rectangular crumpled logo on the side i didn't want it that logo i wanted this one the circular logo is just so beautiful but 
you know, thank God it's not in the middle here because um, my crumpler, a complete seat, uh, has also also has this logo on the side here. It's just a different older logo. So yeah, I got you know myself a brand new uh, crumpler bag uh, of the older version, which I really love. And uh, I, you know, from my own experience, I can tell you that crumpler bags uh, last a long time. They are super durable. I have no doubt about the durability, even with the new crumpler rebranding, um, with the new crumpler. Um, series of bags they will last forever it's just that the design itself I still prefer the older designs anytime over the new designs it's just so cute and so unique and so iconic and uh, riding this around with my Shirley bicycle it just completes the entire picture so yeah basically yeah, this is just uh, me talking about the crumpler brand um, why I support it and uh, why I decided to get one of these uh, awesome messenger bags and uh, why this will be probably one of the last products I get from Crumpler because um, you know the direction that they're headed it just doesn't um, appeal to me anymore and um, last year uh, the famous uh, Tokyo brand uh, Japan brand Hit Porter from Yoshida Kabang also decided to do a rebranding now it's no longer hate port it's called remedus tokyo which is like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i still like hate porter yeah but uh i do have hate porter product as well uh, but that will be a uh, different story altogether so yeah basically um this is my video for today let me know what you think of my um you know my bags or if you want to see more of this crumpler bags but um trust me i would do an updated video of my crumpler a complete seat and I'll do one on this. I don't think there's a lot of YouTube videos on crumpler bags these days. Back then in the, in, the, in the 2000s, you know, everyone was using their bags and then that was just, YouTube wasn't just big back then, you know, maybe it was just uh, not many people using YouTube, but YouTube is just so big now, but uh, not a lot of videos of the awesome products. So yeah, I'll try to talk a, more, a bit more about the older products that I have uh, from crumpler. In the meantime, yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Help me grow my channel and um, hopefully someday I can give you a big gift back to the community, you know. And yeah, basically that's it. Uh, how long am I? I'm like almost 17, 18 minutes in the video. Thank you so much for, you know, um, listening to my rants and uh, let me talk about my bags. And uh, I'll just post up some pictures of me, you know, in my different uh, outfit of the day, day with this uh, bag. And um, in the meantime, just uh, stay safe out there and uh, enjoy yourself uh, with a crumpler back. <laughs> okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm saying at the, at the end of the video. Okay, take care and I'll see you. Bye.